we're going on a food adventure. And it runs from east to west. And we are checking out today uh, one of the barbecue joints in eastern North Carolina. And uh, I'm just curious uh, to see this particular uh, barbecue restaurant um, in the eastern part. And you will know later. But hopefully in the future we can uh, check out one restaurant uh, in the western section so we can compare which one to us is uh, Geographic called this place the barbecue capital of the world. That's why you can see a replica of the capital Rotonda on top of this modest brick building and a no frills restaurant. Its whole hog wood cook reminds me of the lechon in the Philippines, but both of different tastes. However, they have something in common. Roasting pigs were introduced by the Spanish. A stack of wood piled outside the restaurant that will feed the fire pit all day. This is it. This is uh, the skylight in barbecue and everything in the factory. It's a long line with plenty of customers just coming in and they just opened the store. The barbecue comes in three sizes large, medium, small. We ordered the barbecue and chicken combo and with, with slaw. Yummy. And then we have the sauces. This is what? The one is hot and one and spicy and the other one is what regular? We have piled. It's really more it's really more of vinegar. I think that's one of the difference here in the Eastern North Carolina barbecue. The vinegar is it's sweet and tangy, vinegar, I guess. But in uh, Western, it's more of it has ketchup and other spices and pepper. And this is the cornbread. With a pig. So, and Carol ordered the chicken, chicken barbecue, the slaw and the potato salad. Mm -hmm. And we brought uh, several from home. And then she had uh, chicharron for chaplain. Chicharron. So this is the whole It's It's everything. So it has the skin. And everything about the whole body parts of the thing. So let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna taste the barbecue first without the sauce vinegar because. East North Carolina barbecues is all about the meat and they just have simple vinegar without the ketchup. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. It's like a lot of things happening in my mouth because the, it's it actually tender and soft and uh, occasionally there's this uh, crunchiness of the skin. I haven't even used this though, let's see. I'm used to the 
really good. There is much going on in this sandwich. The different textures of the different parts of the food. And occasional crackling of, um, you know, of the... Um, pork skin. Pork skin, yeah, exactly. It's moist and um, smoky uh, taste. So, the barbecue and then there's a layer of um, coleslaw and then the, the vinegar. It's not, sweet and yeah, it's not overpowering. It's so really good. It's really the best. How does the chicken taste? The sweetness, the tanginess, and the smoky flavor of the chicken, it complements with it with each, each other. other. Mm -hmm. And wow. it tastes so yummy and it explodes in your mouth. It's so good. We'll recommend. That was so worth the drive. So that's it. Our friend. Next stop, Parker's. He is on his way to buy fried chicken. One of the best in North Carolina. Here he comes with Parker's fried chicken. Okay, until our next food adventure. Uh, we'll try to check out Western North Carolina barbecue in the future. Bye now. See you soon.